Hello everyone, and be heartlessly welcome back to Vrabelheim in the dungeon of Nahilpok. We resume our journey where we left it off last time after slaying some rats, poisonous and mutant rats, but rats nonetheless. We have also, at the behest of the barkeep, picked up the crate of Chateau Les Losers. Yep, Chateau Les Losers. And here the game was telling us that it was expensive and important wine. Between last episode and this one, it did go buy some more potions. I believe I bought 10 because we were running super duper low. And now we're going to go knock on this door. Who should do it? We'll have our, our fearless leader, the ranger, knock on this door. This is to assist the wizard Midranthir. The magnificent. Uh, clear some debts. I believe the password is Maracas. So I've totally not forgotten. Just kidding, this is the wrong door. We're going the other way. Okay. What an epic intro. Uh, since last time, I have modified the audio a wee bit, so if things sound different, that's the plan. If things sound worse, please let me know, because that was not the intention. I wanted things to sound better. <laughs> but uh, we'll find out. To make, make an omelet, you gotta crack a few eggs. To achieve well, audio expertise, you have to twist quite a few knobs. All right, this couldn't go wrong, could it? Oh dear. <laughs> we have a book, The Fox and the Wolf. Master Fox was holed up in his earth, holding a rabbit in his mouth. Master Wolf, attracted by the odor, tried to bamboozle him thus. My dear, hear that I only ever got an old goat as collection. Collation. At best, a few scrawny boars. Don't you agree that such meats a dull meal make? But the other was ungenerous. Such was his character. All winter long you were freaking about, even as deers and moose were abound. Beat it now. Is that supposed to help me with these levers? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it is. Oh, okay, we have some animals. We have a puzzle. <gasps> oh, dear. I don't know what the goal of the puzzle is, though. So the book is called The Fox and the Wolf. So Master Fox was holed up in his earth, holding a rabbit in his mouth. Master Wolf was attracted to the odor. My dear, hear that I only ever got old goat as collation. As best, a few scrawny boars. All winter long you were freaking about even as deers and moose were abound. So I'm going to try beat deers and moose. That was what my gut reaction was. Hopefully I know what those are. <laughs> Rabbit, bear, deer... Right? This is a moose. I know this is a moose. Goat. That looks like fox. That looks like boar. I don't know where the wolf is. Alright. Deer it is. I should have saved. Threat. Wrong combination. Really? All right, it's time for some clicking. We need to try something else. All right, so, oh, here's the wolf. So as the wolf, it's wolf related. Goats and boars. Here's a goat. And the boar is here. Wait a minute. Okay, so we have... Do I have to press all the buttons? Wolf, goat, boar. He wanted a rabbit. Uh... Wolf, goat, boar, rabbit. The fox... 
So next would be... I don't know what the, what the bear's involvement is in this. I guess we'll try the fox next. We were right to choose the priestess, even a noble one. I must admit this choice is a blessing to our mutual interests. Okay, so pulling the fox was correct. The other one seemed to be incorrect. Okay. You know, they didn't give me a visual uh audio warning. So the fox had the rabbit. Or maybe it's a bit more literal. Nope, it's not. So we had the fox and the rabbit were correct. Pretty sure the fox only had the rabbit. Hold up in his earth, holding a rabbit in his mouth. Uh, okay. So then do we do wolf? Deer? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, this could be a this could take a while. Fox Bunny. Hold up. So do we do bear? Nope. Oh wait, didn't I have it? Wasn't it fox fox bunny wolf? That is a long hallway. You're a long hallway. <laughs> Fox, bunny, wolf. And then I pressed this, didn't I? Because we're talking about goats. Okay, goats. And then we talked about boars. Even as... Was it deer than moose? Even as... Deers and moose. Frolicked about. Deers. Wait, it reset. No, it didn't. Wait, what? Why did this move go? What? I'm... Well, uh. What am I attempting to do? No, this is fine. We're good. Deers and then moose. And then bears. From hate's riddles, oh. except the riddle of steel. It actually wasn't that hard, all things considered. You just went down the order of things mentioned. The throwing hen. I think I talked about this, but this reminds me of the freaking uh was it Jesters? Age of Empires 3. Freaking halflings. We have something for the Barbarian. Did it say that I need a talent to wear it this? It's my boots. No. This is four protection and three physical yes, resistance. Which is dramatically better than my Savage Harness. Look at that. He even has spikes. And a, a water sack on his back. We nailed it. That only took... Five minutes. <laughs> All right, now, without further ado, can I quick save? No. Just go ahead and... Oh, it auto-saved, okay. That's fine. All right, here we go. Knock on the door. Now we say the password of Maracas. Oh, easy. It's, uh... Maracas. Not very detail-oriented, are you? Really? Just tell us the password, smartass. Maracas. See? Oh, password. Maracas. Password. It's Maracas. Right. Wait. Guys, <laughs> oh, it's That's the running gag that everyone ignores the thief. Good job. Good job. Hello. Are you here to bet? Your purses don't look very fat. Um, excuse me? Who looks fat? Excuse uh, me? For our mid round there is IOU. Oh, finally. So, paying up or what? What? He did it day. Out of curiosity, how much would it cost us to get it back? Six thousand gold coins. What? Hell, <laughs> maybe we could find another arrangement. Yes, we also accept jewels and magic items, or even enchanted weapons. Midranthir already pawned a two-handed sword to settle his debt. You should comply, or I'll have my commoners give you a good beating. 
I'll heal you afterwards, of course, as you click commands. If that's the way you want it, this is not going to end well. Wait, actually, we need your help. Oh, really? Yes, oh, really? This sword is way too sharp. Orc skulls will help to blunt its edge nicely. Let's battle! <laughs> See, we need your help. This sword is way too sharp. So, let's see. What are we up against? Uh, many angry orcs. We haven't fought orcs in actually quite some time. That's cool. Uno. Dos. We don't actually... There's one. This should be an explosive barrel. So we should actually be able to hide correctly this time. There's an orc shaman in. Shaman still ain't all that fun, but you keep shaman in into. So the only explosive thing appears to be here. So we take our dolly. Get back here. I don't know what this lever does. Uh, I need you... So our buffs... Excuse me. Our buffs should be 4x4. Four four. Uh, with both the barbar and the priestess. I don't really care if he gets hit by this. So these two should be in good range for their buffs. The thief is kind of hiding. We'll see what he can do. The ogre is holding the front line. Everyone can get out that needs to get out. Let's fight. We're not standing next to any explosive barrels for once. Let's pop our protection. Remember, we upgraded this protection to... Do I move you for... No. We upgraded this protection. Please, whatever you do, don't critical failure. To... Good, 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 good. I'm going to stay here as well. Uh, we can delay with you as well. I could 10 can. Let's see. Nah, they can't get here. We'll just delay. We upgraded the uh, tactic to provide magical... And physical resistance, My which turn. is like status debuffs and see crowd control and really annoying crap My like that. Turn. So hopefully we don't have so much of that. We are fighting a shaman. Shamanins are kind of known for uh, utility across a multitude of archetypes. Utility and healing. So this has been upgraded, right? Don't go this way. Great. Well, I don't know why I'm surprised. I don't know why anyone would be surprised. Smack. I probably should have delayed, honestly. But oh well. We'll take our shots. The thief is definitely delaying, though. Speaking of taking our shots, shouldn't I be... Oh. For some reason, I thought... I'm sorry, you what? That was a one-shot. What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. I was too distracted about being one shot. I'm a tin can. Um, I'm actually going to use unexpected life support here. Roll the 70. Nice. A good orc is a dead orc. Indeed. Um. Forty three, sixty five. Wow. My chances are not very good. You're not very good at ranged, are you, Mr. Thief? 
Oh, well, that'll do. Okay. Option one, delay. That's option one. Benefits of delaying. I can heal after damage has been taken. Uh, I could protect, or excuse me, defend, because I, it looks like I'm going to take a bunch of damage. I can throw La Bomba. I can strike. I'm kind of inclined to delay. The Barbarian, however, can do a smackaroo. Uh, and then he'll still, he'll chill. The dwarf is going to be defending in his position. Hold! Hold the line! As far as Ogre is concerned... We could benefit from waiting to see if, like, people fill up here. Orcs. They're even uglier than dwarves. Lol. The elf uh, also is going to delay. I'm a bit concerned for the wizardess's life, but I'm just going to go on a limb and assume that she's fine. Lol, critical parry. Aha! I've got the moves. Good job, Dowie. Sorry, I'm drinking some water. My throat hurts. Oh, hurt. It turns out that when you stream for nine hours, there are consequences. <laughs> Which was uh, yesterday, but there I'm still recovering. This plus 50 parry talent is so good. Don't you dare. Good job, Wizardess. I'm proud of you. Uh, I could heal the Wizardess with the Thief. It's very antithetical to me doing Thief things, but... I sound like I'm doing a whole lot else. Meh. I'll just keep shooting. Just keep shooting, just keep shooting. If I could break out with the thief, I would. But I can't. Oof, that's not good. And he goes first, so the knockdown's gonna be in play. It was well, though. Ow. Wait, did he not die from that? I'll make a lull. He might be dead from this, though. Nope. Uh, he might be dead from this, though. Yep. Boo. That's fine. We have a lot of healing in place. Now go ahead and stun. These two. Physical resistance. Okay, you sods. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and heal with the ranger. Yeah, let's do that. I have so many buffs rolling, too. It's kind of disappointing that I fell over. What? But, oh well, this is what it is. I might be able to kill this dude with the slap. I need to get the wizard as behind By crumb, we're going to kick their butts. a few things. Like, just being behind this ranger is obviously not enough. Let's see if we can do this. Nailed it. Well done, bud. I think the slap is one of the best abilities that she has access to. Um, I can do quite a bit of damage here. I could also try and buff up the ranger so he doesn't die. 
And providing him with additional charisma is going to buff his healing. Okay. I'll stay hiding behind the barbarian. Um, I think I'm going to just put tanks. I could... Nah, we'll just protect. Let's do some friendly fire. No, or not. Okay. It's kind of depressing to think... Hello? Okay. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. It's kind of depressing to think that... I gave the ogre the accuracy ring because he has even less accuracy than the dwarf who just missed. I don't want to take that hit. Let's get a smackaroo. Critical parry, you son of a gun. It doesn't mean that I can move up, though. Orcs are dangerous. We need a good strategy. We have a strategy, Ranger. Although I hear you on the whole good strategy bit. I can't heal, so I might as well take my shot. On this. Good shot. She can heal, uh, which makes me kind of want to wait and see who needs it more than she does. Actually, she'll heal herself, and then we will delay on the turn of the Priestess, who can do more stuff. Alright, let's see what happens. Let's roll the die. Good miss. Flanked. Hmm. Flanked, but two damage is not bad. Okay, 22 is a bit more. Still shooting the ranger. Ow. Ranger is still getting fucked. Don't die. Again. I only have so many bandages, Mr. Ranger. Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Very good. Good, 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 good. Good, Anakin. Kill him. Kill him now. Was that a headbutt? Are shamans known for headbutting? Overwatch. Thief being shot. That tickled. Um... I probably need to do some put on some hurt here. I can interrupt the Overwatch. All right, let's give it a shot. Let us thank the healer. Let us thank the healer. I agree. As a priest main, you should always thank your healer. Um, we're gonna need. I'm pretty sure this still works, right? Wait, what happened to my resistances? If I have to reapply this... It's only showing my dodge and parry. Is it time to start hitting? Not really. No. Time for you to start hitting, Mr. Barbarian. Roll the 69... Nice. I think I've told this joke on stream, but uh, the guild that I raid with in World of Warcraft, uh, we're on Horde, by the way, on Thrall. It's another community, another YouTube community. And uh, 
they ha- they have specific loot rules, and if you roll a one hundred or a one, that's basically equal. You know the joke about the <laughs> so if someone rolls one hundred and then someone rolls a one, they would have to re-roll. But if someone rolls a sixty nine, that is like the ace. Like you can't beat sixty nine. The only thing they can challenge sixty nine is sixty nine, and I think that's hilarious. Okay, I'm sorry, Dwarf. This is way too much value for me not to pass. Look at this value! Sorry, that was... What are you doing here anyway? Wait. Was that a friendly death? I don't think so. Uh, so sorry, Dwarf. <laughs> I think I'll eat the ham. And then he should be fine. Probably. Probably fine. As for the ogre, can you move? It looks like it. Doesn't look like it matters though. Chance 60, 55. 55, 50, 55. Let's roll the 60, shall we? Nailed it. Putting the ogre alone is usually not a good idea. Um, but I'll try and put him, like, right here. He could get backstabbed from here, of course, this archer. But we'll see if putting him there helps out a bit. Because then if his breath comes back, I can stun this dude and this dude. Oh, I just realized this opens up. Death. Mistakes made. I've opened up my entire back line by moving here. Uh oh. I'd say I don't have any regrets, but I do have some mild regrets. <laughs> I was thinking on the offensive terms. Being here is pretty good for the ogre offensively. Ow. Uh, partial parry. What type of shaman hits you with a stick on his turn? I'm pretty sure this guy... Can you kick me? When do I learn how to kick with the elf? That's what I want to know. Don't die, priestess. Good. Uh, I'm probably gonna heal my priestess with the unexpected life support. Actually, I can move here. And then chicken heal. First aid. Tough it out. I hope I can turn around. No. Okay. I can't do it yet. Um, I could delay and try and move over here, but I think I need to try and kill this. So let's YOLO this. Regret. But see, this is enough. Good. That, because that dude was berserked. He was going to screw me over if I didn't kill him. It's 10 can it up. Um, these don't have attack of opportunity. Look over here. I move, I'm still within melee range for the bow, but I have a 70% chance to hit this dude. And he's flanked. Great. I wish I had like a piercing shot. Ooh, I can heal. Um, I really should heal the priestess, shouldn't I? I give the priestess a potion.
I'll delay. Thirty-one percent chance. Are you serious? Here I am. Here I am. Let's roll a sixty-three. Almost a two-thirds chance, and it failed naturally. Face forward. Um. I could run up to this guy and try and prevent him from shooting. That wouldn't be up to being backstabbed from here. I guess it's okay, right? I could also caltrop this dude so he can't run away and shoot. And get in his face. Let's see if we can, if our thief is thiefy enough to go take up this guy. We sprint. There's just Lone Wolf kicking in. I'm like a prime target to get shot in the back, though. Oh my god. Mortal Kombat. Okay. The archers are not to be toyed with. I'm definitely healing the ogre, by the way. Assuming this doesn't kill him. Oh, it's get Overwatch. Wow. How many heals do we have? One, two, three, four. Four ability heals, and it still feels like it's not enough. I'm using this again as well. <laughs> he sounds horrible, doesn't he? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Sunday morning. Is that a reference I should have made? Oh well. Um, I could stop the Overwatch, or I could just wait for the thief. I kind of want to just delay my turn, but I need to turn around. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Here, I'll feed this guy. That'll turn me around. Let's see how this Overwatch goes. Miss, 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 miss. Nah, it's okay. Don't stand so close to me. <laughs> Don't stand so close to me. Do not critical failure. Good. I'm going to go stand over here in front of this guy. And be intimidating. Hello, elf. Hello, Bobber. Great. Even with the precision buff, you miss. See, this is why people don't like you. And it has nothing to do with the fact that you have the IQ of an acorn. Ooh, good crit. I'm going to go over here and hide. Uh, can I kill you? Uh, maybe? Let's see if I can stun this dude. 87. Okay. We'll take it. Physical resist. I'm shocked. Uh, this would definitely kill that guy. If it connects. 81%. Let's roll. Hooray. Hooray. Don't I sound so excited? <laughs> I knew that you plebeians could do it. All I had to do was have a little bit of faith in my commoners. 82%. I didn't see that one coming, did you? Yeah, good enough. 90. Ooh. I saved the day again. I saved the day again. You know, that had nothing to do with you and everything to do with the ogre. Why's my bow out on the ranger? Dodge that one. Hmm. 
Don't kill the thief. Ooh, good miss. Good miss. You have to kick this barbarian, bro. Lol. You gonna kick my thief? Look at all these misses. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? You did. It's fine. It's fine. Was that a 47% chance to hit? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just have the elf take care of it. Okay. We'll just have... I don't know who we're going to have to take care of it, honestly. Probably the Dowie. That was a big hit. All right, Dolly, get the kill. Do it. Good job. Massive hit for such a tiny. I mean, uh, <laughs> nice work. Yes, nice work. That's totally what he meant. All right. I do need to heal the thief. I don't want him dying to another... Well, to be fair, if he gets hit for 51, nothing is saving him. But, you know... I can dream. Good hit, good hit. Well, at least I have partial protection against this. But this looks like a victory to me. A hard-won victory. Smack. Are you going to try and overcome my protection? Ranger. Uh. Owie. I'm sorry about your death, bro. Uh, I guess we'll just backstab it. Sure. Could have waited to the thief, but it's fine. Take that worm. Oh, it dodged. Okay. So I'm trying to think, how do I prevent... Because archers are only going to get stronger from here, right? The only way to really prevent them one-shotting me is to be behind cover, right? There's no other way. But even then, I'm here. it's not like... Just saying. People tend to forget me. It's not like I can send everyone undercover. <laughs> Eh. Well, I tried. Anyone I can heal? Guess we'll heal the priestess and call it a day. So, yeah, I have no idea. And not to mention, the AI has done a pretty good job thus far, like, subverting cover. And moving around it when they can, so... I can't say I'm entirely sure how to prevent this from happening ever again. Besides, one, trying to really utilize cover, and two, hyper-focusing on getting into archer range. Also, that was a lot of damage from a freaking kick. Bingo. Uh, I can't heal from range on this character. So I would need to, one... And I thought you were to be my champion. <laughs> and I thought you were to be my champion. Good luck retreating, bro. I'm also surprised it took this long for a retreat to pop up. I wholly expected it to take a while. Or, you know, to happen like when he was the only one left. Move it, you're in my way. You're in my way. Remember, the Dawi has absolutely horrific movement because of his belt. But I don't mind. That was a great battle. Leveled Let's up. Break the wizard leveled up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is 
Huh. Okay. Uh, I was thirsty. We'll just fully heal. What I was gonna say is I would I was gonna um not heal at all and then just go back to the bar, but we only had four potions and one of these to heal, so that's fine. We got the storeroom key, Midranthir's IOU, Nerlim's Vyhand. Zvayhand. The bandana of mandibular trophies. The okayish bow of kinkiness. Orc Berserker Belt. Two slots, minus two intelligent, one courage, 0 0.1 crit damage. Is that even worth it? Hmm. I mean, it could be a thief thing, because I think the barbarian needs int for his shout, right? Am Perfect. I making that up? The IOU was on the shaman's body. Perfect. You should please Midranther. He also had a sword. Good steel. This rocks. Indeed. The metal was drenched in gold oil. Oh, and the steel was tempered, colored in blue, using flittle. This is dwarf's handiwork. You get it. It's a sword. <laughs> oh, you think it faced ignoramus. Yeah, it's thick as a brick. Ha! In my culture, that's a compliment, idiot. This sword really stands out in this gambling den. Oh, look, there's a small tag on it. Madrant there. Deposit for 1,000 gold coins. Hmm. Regardless, we found the debt certificate. We can bring it back to the wizard in the VIP room. This sword is mine. Ah, maybe you should take the tag off. We're supposed to be discreet. Right? Right? Anyone listening? Not really. Oh, I'm on the thief. It didn't look like I could actually equip that sword. Yeah. How does this bow look? I people put their hands in my pockets. Oh. Seven? This bow was a massive upgrade. It even has... Okay, so everything is the same except it has more damage by a lot. And it has five stamina per turn. Oh, for me? Oh, Excellent. Kind of looks the same. But it's a big upgrade. And we got the something of something. Oh, my bad. Banner of Mandibular Trophies. It has one protection, two courage. That is a big upgrade as well. Cool. The same Good as job. The he has spikes on his head now. Perfect. And we have so many levels up, it's mind-blocking. Uh, okay. Let's level up, shall we? Then we'll go turn to this quest, and then we'll call it a day. That was a huge combat. Uh, brain. How work. Okay. The ogre. What have we used the ogre for? The ogre is a huge punching bag with zero accuracy. Important to keep in mind. The ogre can taunt. I don't really care about that. Next to the wizard S, he gains 10 precision. This is a fascinating combination that I'm surprised it exists. Both the wizard S and the ogre can get some very large benefits by being next to each other. And these are two characters you don't think you would want next to each other. But 10 precision is a lot of precision. Like, that's... As much as the Barbarian buff gives. This Barbarian, he gives impact. This one I can see being a thing. We can also pick up the Ogre Breach too. We have found one stone door. This is what opened us up to all the exploration. Might be worth investing in. Advanced Murder Hoboing. For the name alone, I kind of want to pick this up. The Ogre can now wield two-handed hammers. We do have one of those. Uh, the Limp Great Hammer. It does provide precision, wow. Uh, I might be interested in that. Annual bath. <laughs> the overgains plus some physical resistance per level. This effect is, is retroactive, so we don't have to actually rush this like we do constitution. This is retroactive. That's probably really good. Gourmet. The food consumables have stronger effects when used by the ogre on himself or an adjacent target. That's a big stipulation there. Uh, this was actually a talent in Divinity Original Sin, which is pretty good. I did a lot. And then just some flat protection. We're going to pick up the Advanced Murder Hoboing. I really want the Ogre Breach too, uh, because I love exploration. I love collecting all the things. But for now, let's pick up the weapon. We'll probably pick up the Ogre Breach 2 next, and then we'll, you know, focus on uh, the important things of, of murderies. Zogla Dwarl. The ogre sniffs the air a couple times and randomly picks an enemy as his next meal. The target suffers a protection penalty. Also reveals any stealthy enemies in the area. First of all, it's a huge freaking area. 
It's a 4x4 four four square, it looks like, down in the bottom. Um, minus 10 protection could be really good. We have no idea how many enemy, how much protection our enemies actually have, so this could be really cool. Also, to note, we don't have a way of revealing stealth yet. So if we fight a stealth enemy like we like the evil thief, we're just kind of at the mercy of the AI, which puts that up, you know, pretty important. We can upgrade our knockback. Uh, there are two upgrade paths. One of them makes it so that it will also knock over the target when it pushes them back. I take it that means the, the target has... Does this mean the target has to roll two physical checks or just one? And if the physical check passes, then he gets knocked back, then knocked over? Or is it like it tries to knock him back, he rolls the check, and then uh, it tries to knock him over and he rolls another check? Depending on the answer to that question, this could be really good. Well, it's really good, but it could be even better than really good. Uh, this one pushes back three times. Nolo. A pair of slaps that hits any character in front of the ogre twice. This... Probably pretty good. This is just... It has a three-cone thing. Just like the barbarian swing. Just like the ogre stun. And thanks to our hammer, this could hit for a lot more. Let's do this. We'll do this one. I'm going to dump two points in Khan. He, the ogre hits pretty tough, so... We'll get him some more health. The wizardess, my dear wizardess. 10 astral energy per turn. Uh, our astral energy usage has been fine, I think. 5 dodge, that could be really good. Wizard spells gain 10% damage. Does this also improve healing? Wizard of Spells gain plus two max range to their max. That could be good. Um, I guess Astral Concentration, right, would be the go. The go-to. That or the dodge. I think we'll go with dodge. My dodge is currently eight. Dodge is the percent chance of dodging an attack. Dodge either fa succeeds or fails. There is no criticals. A successful dodge prevents you from being hit altogether. After a successful dodge, the character's dodge value is divided by two until their next turn. Okay, so there's no, like, permanent evasion builds, like in Erratus, even though I don't know how many people characters have killed trying to get them. But in the last combat, for example, we were only attacked, I think, once or twice, maybe with arrows, and when we dodged it, it was a big deal. It was a good dodge. And our dodge is being increased by the tactic of the ranger. Worth noting. I don't know if this is like a one-to-one -one dodge. Like, does eight dodge mean an eight percent tension to dodge? Or does eight scale into whatever? I don't know. I don't know. And 18, 10 percent damage is not a whole lot at the moment. Like, one number I remember from our, our whirlwind was 19. 10 percent of 19 is two. Well, 1.9, rounded up to 2. Let's grab the dodge. Better and better. Summoning of the Killer Bunny. I almost clicked on this immediately. Summons a huge bloodthirsty spirit to vampirize an enemy. Gives back the wizardess as many health points and astral energy as it dealt. A terrifying spell which invokes the spectral form of one of the worst chaotic entities. The House Rabbit. Well, this one is also a vampire and a demon, to be fair. Cure minor wounds. Uh, I'm pretty sure this just improves the healing. And reduces the cooldown. That's a big deal. It drops the cooldown from four turns to three turns. Otherwise, we have two upgrades. Upgrades to the Whirlwind. The targets have 50% chance of being stunned. Oh my goodness. Or the damage is increased by 20%. And teleporting its victims randomly. Ugh, the slap. Uh, dramatic damage and increase from 50 to 120%. And the other one uh, is a knockdown after the push. Okay. Hmm. I'm leaning towards the bunny. Like, let's be fair. The heal is good, because, of course, healing upgrade good and reduces the cooldown. It's a huge deal. 
the I think both of these whirlwinds could be good. The randomly teleports more RNG hilarity, but this, the 50% chance of being stunned is a huge reason to press that button. In fact, it's a reason to keep it on cooldown. The, by the way, the cooldown is remaining three turns, so there's no decrease in that. Oh. Hold the stick vertically to the ground, press your forehead against it, spin around as fast as you can. There you go, 50% chance of being stunned. Is that how that works? Let's summon the bunny. I'm going to summon the bunny. The benefit of having a summon, assuming this is actu an actual proper summon and not just like, you know, a spell that sounds like it's summoning, is that the enemy has another thing to target. Ah, swell! New skills! New skills. I'm going to pop one con, one intelligence. I do not like being one shot and last time we were one shot. So, we've learned inval invaluable lessons. Uh, the Barbarian is dealing most of our damage right now, so I'm actually going to dump both points in Constitution. He... We picked up the heavy arm... the heavy leather. So he can get some archery training. He does have a bow. Tough guy. The Barbarian cannot be weakened when he loses health points. That's probably pretty good. Sword training. Gain 10 precision when attacking with a sword. Or max stamina. Um... <sighs> There's no question. I hope there's no doubt that we're picking up the 10 precision when attacking with a sword. So we can upgrade our steel barrage. We have a boot. A kick that deals a small amount of damage and pushes your target back two tiles. This is the thing the archers have been using on us. We've seen the power of pushes. They have been very good. Very strong. Um... Especially because our Barbarian has been in the front line, and by kicking them and pushing them back, we can trigger, you know, attacks of opportunity. And repositioning by removing uh, attacks of opportunity from the enemies. We could buff our swing. I'm really not that big into that. I mean, going from 80 to 130 percent damage is a big deal. Let's check out our War Cry buffs. The War. 10 precision, 10 crit chance, 10 precision, 10 damage. Now we're talking. Or movements. Low key movement could also be really good. Uh, but I'm kind of up for increasing damage. Again, 10% damage, you can say is not a whole lot. Like I said, 19% nine, or excuse me, 10% of 19 is 1.9 rounded up to 2. It's not that big of a deal. I think we'll pick up the rib crusher for now. I do want savage war cry. But more buttons, I kind of I'm at the point I think where we're early enough that we need more buttons to press because we've gone many turns without being able to press a single skill. So let's pick up more buttons for everyone to have access to do more things. More utility is always good. Anybody wants a what? Anybody wants a print of the barbarian's boot on the yeah, noble behind? Strong. The thief. Um. I can't believe thief strength increases his impact. I'm gonna put one point in constitution because we the thief is one of the characters that was one shot last time, so we'll keep leveling up his health. We'll put one point in strength because that increases his impact, and impact is good. Uh, I kind of want to go for the heavy leather armor because we do have the heavy boots for him that we haven't been able to equip. The bombs the thief uses are more powerful, have additional effects. That's also something I'm interested in. Lone Wolf 2 I'm interested in. Uh, crit multipliers, less interested in. I think we're going to take the heavy New armor. Skills? Better safe Dangerous. than sorry. Because again, I don't like being one shot. So two options, we can upgrade the Sneaky Strike, which is our big uh, hitter from behind. Upgrading it, both paths do reduce its cooldown from 4 to 3, big takeaway. One of them poisons the targets, the other one immobilizes them. Hmm. I guess it depends how strong the poison is. 
upgrading Caltrops as well. Again, a big takeaway, going from 4.4 turns cooldown to 3. One of them uh, immobilizes and poisons. Or excuse me, the Caltrops always immobilize. This one poisons. This one, if the attack is used as a ranged attack, it doesn't interrupt stealth. Okay. So this is for stealth. That's probably actually really good, honestly. But we don't have stealth at the moment. Aim for the heals. This is not a ranged attack. It's worth noting. Poison bolt. Fires a poisoned cross bolt. Think it works on skeletons? No. Um, I'm actually going to go with the poison bolt. I really, I'm a huge fan of debuffs, and we saw last time the Thief kind of have to take a ranged position for a while to, uh, you know, because we were stuck by people, but the, ra the, thief, the Thief was never really directly involved with the main kerfuffle until the very end. I'm getting better. So this will allow him to contribute to the main kerfuffle without actually being in the main kerfuffle. Does that make sense? That's my thinking. And now for the Dali. For the Dali. Resistances, more loot and gold. So we can upgrade this to provide more resistances. Uh, the Dali already has a baseline, a lot of resistances. I'm actually going to do one one here. Uh, a lot of resistances. And again, our Ranger upgrades resistances with his new tactic. The dwarf regains 10 health points per turn as long as he's standing on a beer tile. We've seen a few of those, but we didn't actually pop any in the last combat. The dwarf gains 10 parry and cannot be knocked down when in defensive stance. I'm sorry, did I just click on something without thinking? <laughs> we have used the Dali a lot in defensive stance. Uh, so this is great. We've had many, many combats, almost every combat, where we've popped tin can and the next turn gone into defensive because he has three or more enemies around him. So I think this is this plays directly into our play style. I'm perfectly satisfied doing this. I feel I don't feel bad about it at all. Now for his actives. We could go into some offense. We don't have any offense for the Dowie, besides I mean his stun. Does that count as an offense? Uh, he's literally just been a ten can. He's been standing there taking hits for us, which is all we need him to do. An Inspire and Taunt that discourages your target turns them toward the dwarf and incites them to attack. Now, turning targets actually is probably really, really, really good in this game. It's not something that I would think of, but I think it is really good. Hmm. Meh. The Thunder... <laughs> thunder Thigh. A formidable charge that inflicts more damage the further it travels. In olden times, this technique used to cover even greater distances, but this required to have a short beard so as to not risk tripping on it. Thus, the technique evolved alongside dwarven fashion. Interesting. Now, this could be good because our dwarf currently has equipped a belt that has reduced movement on it. So this can kind of supersede that and move forward four spaces. It doesn't knock anything down or anything. It just charges ahead, which could be good. Could. I think we'll take the taunt. We could also just take the spin. Spin to win, as they say. Interesting. I don't know. A lot of options here. We technically don't have a taunt. And it could be really good. Alright, we'll take the taunt. We need more utility, you know. Alright, let's confirm the changes for the whole party. I hope everyone's happy. The changes allow us to equip the stick for the ogre, and why are you here? Uh, 
Well, I guess I could equip this. One protection, two courage. Two protection, two charisma. All right. It has even bigger spikes. How ironic for a thief to empty his own pockets. I'm not emptying your pockets. I'm giving you one protection, one constitution, and one... And could be pawned for a nice amount. Brick. Yes, yes. Now for the ogre. Also, I thought that these yellow things were hair, these yellow strands, but they're spaghetti noodles. And that's fantastic. Look at that stick. Isn't that an impressive stink? The barbarian leveled up. All right. The dwarf leveled up. The dwarf leveled up. The thief leveled up. The thief leveled up. Um, I don't know where we're going, but for some reason I feel like death awaits. You know what? We just crossed an hour because of all my talking. So what we're gonna do? We'll finish exploring this area, and then we will hold off the turning in for next time. Oh, we're in another thingy. Where we can read and distribute books. A brief history of Orcus culture. Hmm. We don't have that at all. Wow. Are you serious? I did not expect a trap to be inside a tavern. That's what I get, though. Okay, there's a riddle on this wall. Should we try to solve it uh -oh. or keep going? Try. Why not? Let's do it. I'm a box with no hinge, no key, no lid, and I hold a golden treasure. What am I? Egg. I knew it. That's from uh, The Hobbit. <laughs> That one stumped the crap out of me when I was reading the book. I was like, I have no idea. I saw that and I was like, wow, that's the smartest thing I've ever read. Also, that used one of my junk items. Should I not be selling those? <laughs> Why can't I click on this, though? I don't know what... Oh, no. Oh, no. Another one of the statues. Are there more than one, or is that just moving this one? Uh-oh. Well, I'll turn it to the wall. In shame. It can stand there. I definitely feel like I'm going to walk into a trap. Say, so are you peeing? No, he's not. Okay. So it looks like we're kind of in an area where we aren't really supposed to be at the moment. Uh, that's never stopped me before. <laughs> not going to stop me now. That sign's not going to stop me because I can't read... You know, one of those situations. Crime thrives in the shadows, but so do traps. Yes, that's kind of why I'm being cautious, you thief. Because I don't really feel like... Oh. Nice. Boots of heedless peregrinations. Some say you can't get lost if you follow your heart. Well, these sturdy boots are made for such self-assured morons who, unsurprisingly, tend to choose the ranger class. <laughs> Shots fired. That's freaking hilarious. Who are you? Poor Moo. How are we going to butt kick evil without him? Who's Moo? Uh, another nutsack. <laughs> More like a ranger. We all know the two can go together. <laughs> Test him, scrubber. What's wrong, buddy? I've lost Moo, my uh... companion in arms. How can I triumph over evil without him? Who will watch my back? Who will triumph over terrible Not creatures? Not me. Losing a friend can be distressing. What I bet it's a cow. Like? He's the bravest, the strongest, the most awesome of all miniaturized giant oh. hamsters. Binsk and Moo. Well, not a cow. Uh, hamster, right? Obviously. Obviously. 
Sadly, I am powerless to restore the sanity of a being with the restricted mind. <laughs> Without Mu, Binsk is just a hopeless, aimless, useless, shitty ranger. So like all rangers. Hey, ranger, we get the. I was in the toilets and I put Mu <laughs> down so he wouldn't suffer from the smell. When I was done, he was gone. <laughs> I love this game. Listen, bud, we'll, we'll see what we can do to get him back. Thanks. I will reward you. Mu, where are you? <laughs> this game is great. Well, friends, did you find Actually, we... Hurry. Is that down here as well? Chateau. I need to go up. Huh. Interesting. I did not expect to find a side quest here. I was kind of hoping I could find this, but I bet that opens... Betting is always a dangerous bit, but I bet that opens when... You finish the quest. Or maybe now. Oh. We opened doors to an even lower basement. What could possibly go wrong? A place with only one exit. I don't like this one bit. Oh, are you the janitor? I'm terribly sorry no. about the miserable state this place is in, but we only scrub the floors on Wednesdays. Orders from the co-op to save on black soap. <laughs> Scrubbing is elf's work. Grain from the nice protective layer on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't the clients complain? Well, people mostly come here for the games, not for the cleanliness. We just try to keep the toilets usable. Okay, Usability makes sense. Usability depends on cultural background. For example, barbarians. We hide in bushes. Much better. <laughs> Anyways, don't use the first floor toilets. They're overrun with rodents. Say what you will about the dens toilets, but here, your ass is safe from rats at least. Is that supposed to be a hint? Because aren't hamsters technically a rodent? Technically. Am I back to the beginning? Yeah, I am. Nice. We figured that puzzle out already, because I'm smurt. SMRT smurt. So All right. let's update the map. Let's update the map. Indeed. Next time. We will turn in our quest and see what we can do to help unite... <laughs> Help unite Minx and Binks and Moo. I miss I swapped that around. While we uh see if our main quest line and whatever happens with the Chateau Les Losers uh coordinates with that. It might. It might not. Who knows? I enjoy being dragged around by the nose in directions. Because I'm an RPG player, and that's kind of what just happens to us. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!